Good morning. Um, this is Friday, April 2nd, uh, the morning session of the House Human Services Committee. Uh, this morning, we are punting a little bit. Uh, we're going to get an update from Representative Brumstead on H-171. Um, Representative Brumstead did a presentation to the Senate Health and Welfare Committee this morning, so we'll hear about that. And then we are going to take a look at the recent changes to the buprenorphine bill, which is on our committee webpage. Um, so, Representative Brumstead, can you give us a update on uh, questions and uh, how things went and you know, what your, what your sense is of how this is uh, playing out so far in the Senate? Sure, so I presented um, summary and um, I got a few questions, mostly about the changes that we made and why that had to do, why was appropriations the one who actually, the bill that we actually passed. So we talked a lot about the um, committees and the changes for building bright futures, who, they, who was in the room as well. Um, and they are hearing today, right now from Katie, going section by section. And then they're also hearing from Sarah and Allie and from Let's Grow Kids. And they're also hearing from Building Bright Futures. Morgan was there. Um, they're concerned about the studies and the money not being there. And so I explained about the American Rescue Act and what we were trying to do. And I went through the priorities, you know, the, the things that we would like the committees to look at. Um, so they really appreciated that and um, understand why we would do it that way. And now I said, you know, now there's more guidance available and you may be able to make other decisions based on that, where we were just sort of, doing the best we could with the very little bit of information we had coming out. So um, it was all good. They were happy to see that the most, a lot of that money is already in the governor's budget. So that takes a little pressure off and um, asked a few questions about that. We also talked about reach up and how pleased um, I was to see that the changes in that flip are really gonna have an impact on those folks. and. Um, I think that that was pretty much it. They, they, um, they seemed pretty happy about the BFIS system being updated. They know about how module one needs. So it's interesting because their group is very informed. So we talked about what we've, I, I started just like I did on the floor with um, what, how integral this is to the five-year plan and how we've moved in a direction and that we probably will be doing a third bill down the road. And, and so they agreed with all those things. So it was good. And their whole committee was there, which was nice too. Oh, great. Yes. Um, when I did 153 the other day, um, Senator Terenzini wasn't there. So, um, uh, so, so they did understand that this is year three of a five-year plan um, and that while we have an, an ultimate goal, we need to know how much that would potentially cost before even Go before there. taking a step in that direction. Yeah, yes, they absolutely got that. And uh, we talked a little bit about the federal poverty level. And actually, Nolan is in there, too. So okay, they've got a, a cast of characters that will probably go for quite a while. And I said that you and I had reported the bill and that um, we were more than happy to um, answer any other questions and um, want to be as helpful as we can because this bill is incredibly important to us as a committee. So, and Great. as a legislature, they were surprised by, they had forgotten that the last bill passed unanimous from the House and then this bill passed us unanimous and only one, and there, there were 95 people on the, on the bill. So mm -hmm. it was nice to see their surprised faces like, wow, okay, you know, mm -hmm. this is real. So it is, it is great. Okay, thank you. Anybody have any questions for Jessica? Okay.